Hi friends, it's Liz here at Liz the Paper Project. Welcome back to my channel. So, um, Happy New Year to all of you. Um, I don't want to forget to say that. I um, I showed you a video, a, uh, I guess a few videos back, on how I made this accordion kind of ephemera holder. And I'll link that below in case you haven't seen it. Um, I did also mention I got the idea from um, snail mail that I received from, oh goodness, Lynette. Oh my gosh, I thought I was going to forget. Okay, let me just start by saying I'm going to try and film this video uh, without interruptions and I won't be able to edit. So um, I'm hoping that I've gathered everything that I need to show you guys. What I will be doing in this video is just decorating my cover that I made with you guys um, in that video. So I'm hoping to, um, you know, kind of make a few more as um, as I get crafty and show you guys just more ways of making them or just kind of different designs and stuff. But a lot of you had asked to see uh, my decorating process. So, you know, if you want to join me in decorating this one, I have pulled out some of the pieces um, to kind of make it look somewhat similar. Um, I don't know if it's going to turn out that way and I know I'll probably forget something because as I said I'm trying to kind of do this video um, for now I'm trying to figure out if I want to purchase editing software my computer's just acting up but let me get started so that I don't waste so much time in just chatting with you guys so the first thing I did and I'm thinking that some of you might work this way is I gathered some of the pieces that I thought I would be using for decorating this one based on how I had previously decorated my first one that I showed you guys. So um, I've gathered some butterflies because I used butterflies in the one I'm showing you right here. So I've got some butterflies, I've got different colors and these ones I, I think I got at a dollar store at some point. Um, there was a little bird here that I really liked, so I did get this little bird. And now I did get some um, some of these uh, really nice um, fussy cut pieces from Amanda and from Carol. But I don't remember which is which because I just put them together. So thank you ladies because fussy cutting and Liz don't go together. Um, I don't have... Um, I'm patient, just my hands won't do all the fussy cutting for a long time. So... While I would love to fussy cut things, I have a difficult time with that. Okay, so tears flow for Liz. Okay, so I'm um, sorry, back to this. So I've got bird and butterfly, as you can see here. I did get some of my Tim Holtz washi tapes ready to go because I used it in this project as well. Um, I added some washi tape in some areas. Um, I've got some stickers, I got some labels. These ones, um, they look like stamps, right? Um, they are from my porch prints and I just have a few here that um, I'm thinking I might use for the back side. And I do not remember if I got a label. Oh boy. Okay, well, I may put the label at the end. I may not, I'm not sure if I have anything else that I could use for a potential label. Uh, you know, this is what happens when you are trying to film and you think you've got everything pulled out, but you may not. Okay, I'm going to start on the front. Okay, so here we go. So if you have made one or you want to make one and gather your pieces as well, um, you know, go ahead and get those now. Oh, I did want to mention also that I do have some of these little kind of like wood pieces that I thought I might use maybe instead of the bird here or somewhere in the front because this is going to be snail mail um, that I'll be sending out um, I can use something a little bit thicker on the cover because they're not writing in it you know what I mean so okay so let me get started first by maybe getting my um, where I might be putting my butterfly I think I'm going to use the large one and I think because this is like the opening I'm just going to put it somewhere that it's not so close to my my flap there. And then I'm thinking, I wonder if I should use this. Is it too shiny? It's a little extra piece that I have from, see, <laughs> see this is what happens when I try and film and I know I'm not going to edit. I get all like nervous. Um, this is a piece of 
old paper that I have from Fomemo, the printer. I used it recently in um, in something, and I have a little piece left over. But I'm wondering if the gold is too too gold. It's not, you know, doing what I may want it to do. Maybe I'll use a smaller piece. I just sort of I want it to kind of pop a little bit. I want maybe something underneath the butterfly. Um, here I used some washi tape. Uh, so maybe I'll just pull that out and see what I'm going to use. I hope you guys had a great holiday. Um, you know, we um, we didn't get snow this time, which was kind of nice because sometimes I like it when we don't get snow. Um, it just, you know, it just means no one has to go anywhere and, and we get to spend time just kind of at home as a family without many interruptions. Okay, I think I'm going to use one of these. So I'm just going to start by um, just adding some washi tape to the cover. Hopefully I can open this one. And I'm also hoping I stay in frame. I will keep checking periodically. So just a piece of washi and I'm just sort of trying to kind of get an idea where I'm going to be placing my butterfly. I think, oh, I think I'll need that. I'll do that and then I'll grab a piece that's a little bit, maybe a little bit larger so it can go underneath the flap anyways this is what I do guys sometimes I you know I'll finish a project and then I'll kind of put it aside and then I get back to it and think oh maybe I should continue it and add something else to it and that just sort of feels fun to me to do that uh, I, I sometimes can finish a project all at once like if I get started and then other times I find that I'll put something aside you know, I'll start it, put it aside, and then get back to it at some point. So that's what is happening here, especially with my um, with the fact that my editing software is not not being nice to me. So I'm trying to figure out what I will be doing with that. Okay, so we've got the butterfly, and you've got some um, washi tape layer there. I like the bird. I think the bird should definitely go back up the top there. So um, I'm also repeating sort of the same pattern just to show you guys because I know a lot of you like to um, to see how I make something but then also would like to kind of follow something similar to what I've done before. So I made sure to gather the pieces that, you know, that were very similar to the one I had shown you guys before so that you guys can can kind of follow along if you have similar items you can kind of see how you can use them okay so you see that taking place there and I really like how that's looking and I had selected the Tim Holtz paper because it's double-sided printing and then I just think it it just gives it a nice finished look um, you could certainly do that with um, you know the paper that is just the one side and then you can add your own decorations to it afterwards so now we're getting to the back and I'm thinking I don't have a label but I do like how I kind of did the um the ticket the sorry the I don't know what is that called it's supposed to be a stamp but I'm not cutting it out as a stamp I'm just cutting it out um kind of like as a a label I guess and let me just put this here I'll throw that out in a minute don't want to make a mess while I'm crafting and and so if you see kind of what I did here I let me show you I did fold over the ticket so that I could kind of go along the inside of this one but I think for this here I'm just going to add it um, and then cut off the end because I just think that's what I want to do right now I'm not sure Let's see we shall see what happens and I'm hoping that it goes at an angle and that it works out I um, I turned off my fan right now I'm in my basement craft space and I turned off the fan because otherwise you guys would be hearing this awful sound and now my hands are getting gold Eek. so see how that's looking there it's kind of very similar to the one I had done there I'm sure many of you can see where this is going um, so what I'm going to do here I like to um, sometimes add a piece 
at an angle like this because it just I know it just gives it movement it gives the page a little bit of movement and it's not everything's just not so you know perfectly aligned so here I had added a label but I'm thinking I really like my um, my doily this one's one of those doilies that um, that I made with um, my die cut and I'm wondering picking my florals so for this one I went with the black and white but see, this page here has a little bit yellow. I mean, this one did too, but this one kind of has a little yellow that pops out. And I'm thinking I like that yellow, but I'll also pull out some of my black and white ones just to see, just to see how it turns out. And this is just, again, just playing, relaxing, um, you know, just sort of having fun with the process. You know what? I like the black and white better, so I think I'm going to go with that. So I will, instead of adding a label, because I didn't grab a label and I can't really try and find one right now because um, I have my microphone hooked up to the to my recording and if I move, you guys will just sort of never see me again. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, uh, so I will use glue stick for my doily and this doily oh wait which side is better I like this side better this doily um, I made it with coffee stained paper and that's what I love about that that little die for it because I can make my own tiny baby doilies now love them so much um, so there's that and then I think I'll be adding I gotta go a little bit more because it's sticking up um, so I hope you guys are, you know, having a great uh, new year and that you've got some craftiness happening in your lives right now. I really am going to be making sure to make more time to craft this year for sure and because it does really relax me and I really enjoy sharing, you know, kind of ideas with all of you and I love that everyone is so so awesome and sharing what they do and they create and now this is probably not going to come out because i want it to i would like it to not do this oh, as i do this let's just pretend to have some music playing i wonder if i could do that so um i guess if you guys also have some tips on how to um release the stickers from their from their plastic holder. Here we go. Finally. Um, okay, so it's coming along there. And I think um, these stickers, by the way, I think these ones I got from In Love Art Shop, if I'm not mistaken. I think. So see how that's kind of very similar. Now, you can see the sizing is a little bit different than this one that I made, but that was kind of the beauty of me showing you how to put this one together because. Um, or how I put this one together, I should say, because you can make them really with any size you want. Um, I know someone was saying that um, they could use, they could make one to put in the back of their journals to hold all their ephemera, which I think is a great idea. So see how that, that, doesn't that look nice now? Like just a few pieces, you know, some stickers, some washi tape. Um, so for the closure, this one, I did add a brad to it and um, I kind of did the little butterfly and a little bit of this kind of, happening I'm not sure what this is called but you know I could just easily add that here as well with a brad but I don't want a brad I think I I want to um I would love to get some of those um, velcro things so I think I'm going to hold out for maybe some velcro that I could attach it to or I don't know I just I, I mean I love the idea of you know having more movement with the little bit of string and you know kind of tying it around but I'm not sure if I want to go that route with this one maybe maybe not um, but I think yeah I think I'll wait to add the closure um, because yeah I think I'll do that okay you guys um I will you know figure out what I'm going to do with the closure but you can certainly do something with a brad yourselves you can do a magnet that would also work um, I'm going to see if I can get some velcro pieces because i i like the idea of like you know the velcro kind of opening it up i think 
I think that's what I want to do. But I think it turned out really cute. Now it's ready to be filled with ephemera for whoever I send this to. Um, I've got another one. Like I said, I'll link a video below where I put that together. Check out my other tutorials. I have quite a few. And if you guys want to see anything else on my channel, let me know. I am working on a few more tutorials for other things that I have shown you recently, like my um, Torn Pages journal. I'm working on a video for that. If you haven't seen it, I'll link that below. And um, yeah, I hope you guys join me next time with a quick um you know just a craft with me project and i hope you guys enjoyed the share let me know if you make any of them tag me on instagram um or you can also find me on facebook or just you know let me know leave me a comment below and, and let me know if you've tried this and how it's worked out for you and um you know maybe more ideas we can get more ideas anyways thank you for joining me i will see you guys very soon thanks so much for stopping by